Welcome to another edition of ETV's Game of the Week. We have a rivalry game on the hardwood between the 4-9 Eastern Michigan Eagles and the 7-7 Western Michigan Broncos. I'm Dave Nemec, and I'll be your guide for this Clash of the Titans. Starting lineups for the game for Western Michigan. At forward, Derek Drew, center, Joe Wrights, and the guards, Michael Riddell, David Cool, and Shantae's Gary. For Eastern Michigan, at guard, Travis Lewis. At the other guard, Jesse Bunkley. A third guard, Carlos Medlock, who leads the team in scoring. At center, Justin Dobbins. And number zero, Nanad Banyanin. Eastern Michigan wins the tip. Medlock with the ball. He gets it over to Dobbins early. Dobbins to Lewis. Lewis back to Dobbins. Dobbins swings across court to Lewis. To Medlock for three. And he airballs. And Mr. Dobbins inside misses the putback. And Western Michigan comes up with the rebound. Gary on the rebound. Shanteus Gary. Western Michigan cool inside to Wrights. Wrights reading the defense. Backing down Dobbins. And with the righty hook, misses it. Gets his own rebound. Still going strong. Bumped by Dobbins. No call. And Dobbins with the rebound. Dobbins up to Medlock. Medlock pushing up court to set up the offense. And it's up guys like Carlos Medlock that are going to really have to pick it up for Eastern Michigan to, if they want to have to win this game as Eastern is 0-1 in the MAC, Meanwhile, Western 1-0 in the MAC. Very big game for Eastern Michigan. Dobbins inside, makes a nice move, and he finishes. Two points for Justin Dobbins and Eastern with an early lead. Michael Riddell bringing the ball to court, being guarded by Medlock. Carlos Medlock averaging 12.5 points per game. Michael, we got a hand check on Travis Lewis on David Cool, the sophomore and former Mr. Uh, basketball in the state of Michigan, he is averaging 13 points a game. And it's going to be guys like David Cool and Joe Reitz who's averaging 14.4 4 points per game and 7.2 rebounds to step it up for Western to pull off the win in a tough environment here at the Convocation Center. Cool to Drews. Drews pulls up and he's short on the shot and Lewis comes up with it. And Jesse Bunkley just short on the jump shot, but we got a foul on Western Michigan as Travis Lewis got the rebound. It's getting a little physical there inside already between these two rivals. And Eastern running their inbounds play. Medlock looking for someone to get open. Doesn't want to get a five-second call. He finally gets it into Dobbins. Dobbins going right at rights to Lewis for three. Give me all three of these. Travis Lewis with the big three. And now it looks like we got a loose ball foul after the shot between Wrights and Dobbins. The two of them tangled up. Watch out for those two. Those two will be banging inside all day long. Eastern Michigan already out to a 5-0 lead thanks to the Travis Lewis three-pointer. Meanwhile, Eastern Michigan loses a five straight trying to end that trend while Western coming off of two straight wins against Northern Illinois and North Carolina Central. So Eastern looking for for a snapping of uh, their winning streak and also looking to get their first uh, first MAC uh, regular season win. Cool's got the ball. He's being guarded by by Bunkley. Cool still got the ball. Now the nod picks up on him. Cool's going to pull up and he fills it from downtown. David Cool with a three pointer and just like that it's 5 3 Eastern Michigan on top. Carlos Medlock setting up the offense. The nod sets a pick. Or to Bunkley, and not swings it to Lewis. Lewis to Medlock. Medlock looking inside, nothing open for Dobbins. Dobbins trying to get position on rights, and they're going to reset the offense. Travis Lewis driving to the rim. He's got Medlock in the corner. Medlock driving to the lane, pulls up, picks up the foul, and not quite. But he will go to the free throw line, and that is another foul on David Cool, his first. Oh, correction, David Cool has second, and that is big. Like I mentioned before, 13 points a game for David Cool. We're not even two and a half minutes into the game, and he's already got two early fouls. He will be coming out. Carlos Medlock at the line, shooting two. And Medlock hits the first of a pair. So it looks like Cool's out, and then comes in Andre Ricks, the junior guard out of Detroit, Michigan, averaging six points a game. Medlock waiting for his second attempt. Eastern Michigan up 6-3 with 17.32 to go in the first half, and Medlock hits the next second pair. 
And just like that, Eastern Michigan now up seven to three. And they're bringing a little pressure on here. Hopefully trying to get Western out of their offensive groove. As Red Elf bringing it up, he's got Medlock all over him. Swings it over to Shantae's Gary, who gives it to Ricks. Ricks back to Red Elf. To Wrights, Wrights looking inside. He's got Dobbins on him. Ricks for three. And no good. And the ball going over the top of the backboard. That, uh, I don't think anyone's gonna be jumping up there. And uh, assist to Nanad Banyanin, who gets the ball back. Eastern Michigan leads it seven to three with 17 10 to go in the first half. Looks like Western gonna put a little pressure on Medlock with Ricks playing up on him in the backcourt. Coach Charles Ramsey, the head coach for Eastern Michigan in his third year, likes to start that. Eastern has gotten off to as they're gonna be looking for Dobbins inside. Medlock saves it to Dobbins. Dobbins has the ball in the corner. Gets it to Nanad, who's looking back for Dobbins inside. This is a matchup we gotta be looking for all day. And the case of the walk is for Dobbins. Dobbins travels, nice defense by Wrights, and it will be Western Michigan ball. And Derek Drew's looking for someone. He's got Riddell. Medlock almost inside his jersey. Riddell bring up slowly down the court. Riddell trying to set up the offense now. Eastern Michigan off to a fairly fast start, leading at seven to three. Ball over to Drews, Drews gets it to Gary. Gary back to Riddell, Riddell swings it over for three. In and out and Dobbins with the rebound. Medlock pushing it now, we got numbers. Travis Lewis back to Bunkley. Bunkley inside to Nanad. And Nanad is blocked but fouled from behind by number 34, Shantae's Gary. And Nanad Banyanin will be going to the free throw line. Nanad waiting for a pair of free throws as Western bringing two more subs coming in soon. Looks like number five, Andrew Hirsch. Hirschberger. And the nod misses the first of a pair. Into the game, number five, Andrew Hirschberger. And number 33, Donald Lawson, 6'9 center out of Chicago, Illinois. And the nod waiting for a second, missed the first pair, going for a second. And he hits it. Eastern Michigan leading it 8-3 to three with 16-17 to go in the first half. Eastern with a lot of pressure. Great start for the Eagles. Riddell bringing the ball up the court. He's got Medlock on him. He swings over to Gary. Gary gets a pick. So as the ball gets another pick, Gary strong to the lane. And they're going to call the foul on the floor before the shot on Anad Binyanin. Said his name a lot early. He's a senior on the team, one of the few seniors on the team, 6'7", 215 from Morris, Texas. And here in the game is Wendell Gay. Or is my correction, uh, apparently I was thinking of Wendell Farrow and Zane Gay. Zane Gay into the game. And Ricks hits the three-pointer to bring Western within two. Medlock bringing the ball up. Zane Gay just came in for for, for Nad Binyan. Lewis with the ball, looking for Zane Gay. Gay putting his head down, going to the rim. He's got everyone in the air, and he gets a no call. And the ball off of Gay's foot. It will be Western Michigan ball. And we will be right back after a few messages. Eastern leads at 8-6 with 15.39 to go in the, sec or the first half.
back here at the Convocation Center. Eastern Michigan leading at 8 to 6 with 15.39 to go in the first half. Not a lot of storylines going on so far. Uh, one of the keys for the game's got to be Dobbins versus Wrights inside for Western Michigan. Both of them got a loose ball foul called on each of them early on. Dobbins with two points. Travis Lewis uh, leading the way for Eastern Michigan with a three pointer. Meanwhile, Ricks and David Cool, who already picked up two fouls, leading the way with three points each for Western Michigan. Off to a fairly slow start between the two teams. Meanwhile, trekking in for Eastern Michigan, big James Matthews. 6'8", 240 pound center. And Jared Axon in the game. In the game for Eastern Michigan, Zane Gay, Carlos Medlock, Travis Lewis, Jared Axon, and James Matthews. For Western Michigan, they have in Andrew Hirschberger, Donald Lawson, Andre Ricks, Martel McLemore, and the only starter in the game for them, Michael Riddell. Rock from Rockford, Michigan, the junior. So we got some kind of delay here. Meanwhile, Western Michigan led by their coach, Steve Hawkins, in his fifth season. Oh, Eastern's already coming back out on another full press. Coach Ramsey must think that they got, they've got the depth and the players to put a lot of pressure on them and waste some of the shot clock. Well, Riddell's bringing up the ball now. When it's up, the offense gets picked by Hirschberger. Swings over to Lawson. Lawson kicks it. McLemore's got the ball. He gives it to Hirschberger. Hirschberger looks inside. Baby hook, and they're going to call a foul. It looks like on Zane Gay as Donald Lawson was going up with the baby hook, and the fans do not like that call. And Donald Lawson will be going to the line shooting two as Eastern leads at 8 6 with 15 19 to go in the first half. It's the Paris. Lawson on his second free throw. And he clinks it. Matthews gets the rebound. Passes it over to Medlock. Eastern Michigan still leading it here. Medlock trying to break down the defense. Finds Matthews in the lane who kicks it out. Back to Gay. Gay's going to stop the offense. He's driving and we're going to have a foul on Hirschberger and a lot of fouls early. You could see Eastern Michigan in the bonus early on in this game, not even five minutes in. Fifth foul already on Western Michigan. And Medlock looking to pass it in. He's got to Travis Lewis. Lewis over to Axon. Axon on the offense. Over to Travis Lewis. Lewis inside to Matthews. Matthews going at Lawson. Pulls up and just short on the shot. Good move though. And here comes Riddell pushing up for Western Michigan. Over to Lawson. Lawson to Hershberger and Hershberger finger rolls it in and Western takes their first lead of the game, nine to eight with 14.40 to go in the first half. Medlock now setting up the offense. Over to Lewis. Lewis trying to make something happen. He picks up his dribble and almost gets it picked off. Zane Gay driving and gives it to Matthews. Who has the ball stripped by Riddell, but it will be Eastern Michigan's ball still. Eastern Michigan subbing in now. Nanad, Benjen, and Banyanin, my mistake, in the game. As is Jesse Bunkley. Jesse Bunkley, second in the team with almost 12 points a game and shooting 39% from downtown. Expect to see a lot of threes from him today. And here's one right now, and he misses it. Just a little strong. Western with the rebound, they're pushing it back up the court. Riddell's got the ball. Riddell taking it in. He's got McLemore, doesn't like the shot, he takes it in. Over to Nod, and he's short. Marlock with the rebound. And Eastern Michigan kind of cooled off after their hot start. Marlock over to Nod. Bunkley setting up the offense over to Axon. Axon. Trying to stop this offense. Eastern kind of stagnant so far after their quick start. The nod puts his head down, takes it to the rim, and it gets rejected by Lawson. And Western will keep the ball. And now they're going to push it. Riddell pushing it up the court. Staying up the offense, gets picked from Lawson. Over to Hershberger, inside of Lawson. And it looks like a foul on Eastern Michigan. 
Another foul on Anad Binyanin. That will be his second foul. Meanwhile, checking in for Eastern Michigan, Mr. Dobbins, Justin Dobbins back in the game, as is Tyler Jones for the first time. Back into the game for Western Michigan, David Cool and Shantae's Gary, two starters. Cool's got two fouls. He's got to be careful that he doesn't pick up a third. the ball looking for rights. Rights goes in right at Dobbins. I see if Dobbins will be right misses the rebound. And I'll say Eastern Michigan ball. Dobbins got to do a better job putting a body on rights when he shoots the ball. And Western Michigan now with the ball still. 13 24 to go in the first half. Up one, 9 8. Right takes it inside. Count that baby in a foul. And Justin Dobbins now picks up his second foul as Wright. Oh, I guess the best it didn't go in. Wright will be shooting up here now. But that is two fouls on Dobbins. That is very costly for Eastern Michigan. They need Dobbins to step up and be a big player in today's game. And Wright clinks the, the first free throw. Back in the game for Eastern Michigan, James Matthews in the game for Justin Dobbins, who picked up his second foul. And he misses a pair. And there'll be a loose ball foul on Western Michigan. Number four, Derek Drews picks up the foul. Meanwhile, coming into the game now for Martel McLemore, it's number one, Derek Frackalosi. I didn't make that name up, it is Derek Frackalosi. And here comes Eastern down the court, Jared Axon bringing it up. Set up the offense. Axon over to Bunkley. Bunkley trying to find Jones. Finds him now, Jones looking inside. And back to Axon. 16 seconds on the shot clock. Action breaks on the defense. He goes out with the lip, and he's just short. But Matthews with the rebound and the putback. And he gets the shooters. Touch Eastern Michigan 10, Western Michigan 9. Eagles take the lead again. And Western pushed it out quickly, went for rights inside, but a foul on Eastern. Eastern Michigan foul. Jared Axon picking up that foul. And Riddell back into the game for Western Michigan. And with 12.44 to go in the first half, Western Michigan already shooting free throws. They are in the bonus. Eastern just one foul away from being in the bonus. And right it's the first of a pair. Drew Wrights. 6'7 center from Fishers, Indiana. Leads the team with 14 points a game and seven rebounds. And he hits a pair. And Western now, once again in the lead, 11-10, 12.41 to go in the first half. Jared Axe is setting up the offense. He finds Bunkley, Bunkley reading the defense. Jared Axe with the ball on the wing. He uses a Zange pick. To Zange. Okay, once again setting up the offense. Eastern Michigan offense does not really look very productive, especially with no inside presence of Dobbins. Tyler Jones to Bunkley. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Eastern's gonna have to force something up here. Axon gets the ball from downtown. Sweet sassy Molassi, big shot for Eastern. They needed that. And Western Michigan now brings the ball back up the court. Riddell. Over to Derek Drews. Drews inside to Wrights. Wrights with the baby hook. No good. And Matthews and Jones both fight for the rebound. Looks like we'll give that one to Matthews. Matthews to Axon. Axon bringing it up. He gets a pick from Matthews. Looks for Matthews. Matthews with the ball. Little jump shot. And just off the back iron. Western Michigan rebound by Gary and Riddell pushing it back up the other end for Western. Riddell take it in. And it's stripped by Bunkley. Bunkley pushing up. Eastern Michigan's got numbers. Bunkley taking it to the rim. He goes up, and he misses the live, and no foul call. 
And just like that, Wester now pushing at the other end. Gary with the ball to Riddell. Riddell looking inside for Rice. Nice catch by the big fella. And they will call another foul on Eastern Michigan. This time on Bunkley and Eastern Michigan will be watching Western shooting more free throws. You're watching the ETV Game of the Week, students broadcasting at Eastern Michigan University. We will be right back after this break. Two hundred years ago, Lewis and Clark set out to discover an all-water route to the Pacific. But what they really discovered in themselves and everyone they encountered are qualities we can still learn from today. the Lewis and Clark Bicentennial. We invite you to walk with them at lewisandclark200.org and see what you discover, because their trail winds through us all. And we are back here at the Convocation Center, Eastern Michigan leading it early, 13 to Western Michigan's 11 with 11.19 to go. Uh, the storyline of this game, no one's really stepped up for either team except starting center Joe Rice for Western Michigan. Two points, one rebound. You must be asking yourself, Dave, what are you talking about? Justin Dobbins picked up two early fouls on Rice. He has been on the bench for most of the half. He has not been very effective. He's only got two points and three boards. And Rice is going back to the free throw line, and he is just getting fouled by everyone. And if this keeps up, Eastern Michigan's going to have to figure out a way someone else to guard him. Right now they got James Matthews in the game. James Matthews, the 6'8", 240 pound center from Detroit, Denby. As I mentioned before, 11-19 to go in the first half. Joe Wright's at the line shooting. And the first free throw. That puts Joe Wright's at three for five now from the charity stripe and a one point game for Western Michigan, down one to Eastern. Second free throw is up and good. Western Michigan ties the game. And Eastern Michigan with Medlock, Matthews, Axon, Gay, and Travis Lewis. And you can really tell a difference when Medlock and Dobbins aren't in there. The offense just doesn't seem to go. Medlock from outside, Dobbins from inside. And the offense just seems very stagnant. Axon breaking the defense down, gives it to Medlock. Medlock's got Gary on him. He drives by him with the lefty. And in and out. Matthews with the rebound, no good. Lewis went up. Looked like Hirschberger got all the ball, but they're gonna call the foul. And his parents must not have been thinking, Hirschberger, basketball, college fans, you know they're gonna be making fun of that name. I'm sorry, you know what's happening. But enough about me, Travis Lewis at the free throw line, shooting a pair of free throws as the game is tied with 10.57 to go in the first half. Travis Lewis on his first free throw attempt. And nothing but nylon on that one. Travis Lewis leading all scores for Eastern Michigan with four points. Now coming to the game, number 34, Kyle Dodd, the Canadian crush for, for Matthews. See if he can bring a little spark off the bench for Eastern Michigan, bring a little size and stability. And Lewis hits a pair, five points for Travis Lewis, the former Eastern Michigan wide receiver. And Eastern leads it 15-13. Riddell pushing the ball up court, and it's picked. Medlock picks his pocket, Axon's got the ball, he gives it to Gay, Gay goes up with the layup, and good! Eastern Michigan off the break, scoring points, and Coach Ramsey's gotta like the easy baskets for Eastern's offense. And Western's gonna try to slow it down a little bit. Riddell walking the ball up the court now, trying to stop the offense. Lawson sets him a pick, Riddell gets around it. To Drews, Drews has the ball, over to Gary. Eastern with very tight defense right now on the Broncos. Gary from downtown. And off the front rim, Axon with the rebound and Eastern Michigan trying to push it up a little bit. Axon kicks it to Lewis. Lewis holds the ball and gives it to Medlock who's gonna set up the offense. 
pick by Gay. Now he's got the corner. He tries to get to Axon. Ball is tipped by Ricks, and it will stay Eastern Michigan ball. 10.09 left in the first half. Eastern leading at 17-13. And Travis Lewis will pass it in for the Eagles, who will have 23 seconds left on the shot clock. Lewis gives it to Medlock, who will set the offense up. Gets over to Axon. Axon with the ball. Gets Dodd at the top of the free throw line. And they're going to call Dodd for walking, the Canadian crush. With the case of the walksies, and that will be another turnover, and it will be Western ball. And Eastern needs to do a better job of protecting the ball. Uh, I saw a little bit of that central game on Comcast last week, and lots of turnovers. Eastern needs to take a uh, better care of the ball so they can be successful on their offense. Only two turnovers, two turnovers so far on the day, so doing a better job. Rex takes the ball, trying to go baseline. He pulls up with the jump shot over Axon and off the front rim. But Western with the rebound. Drews gets the ball and gives it to Riddell, who's going to stop the offense. He kicks it to Ricks. Ricks driving to the lane to Lawson. Lawson doesn't know what to do with it. He'll give it to Gary. And they're going to reset the offense. Gary trying to break down the defense. And it's picked off by Zane Gay. Gay trying to take it coast to coast. And the little finger roll. And he gets a shooter's bounce. Eastern with another basket and a commanding six-point lead. 19-13 Eastern leads it. And Coach Steve Hawkins has seen enough, and he wants to talk it over with his team. And Eastern, just like that, getting a shot in the arm from Zane Gay with four points off the bench. Travis Lewis leading all, uh, the way for Eastern with five points. Meanwhile, for Western, it's uh, Joe Wright with four points. No one else has really uh, done much. I mean, Wright doesn't even have a field goal, just all free throws. So I wouldn't be surprised if Haw uh, Coach Hawkins tries to set up some plays for Wright's back inside. I mean, no Dobbins. Uh, Wright's got a major uh, weight advantage, 256 to Kyle Dodd's 210 inside. So you'd have to imagine that Wright's can throw his weight around and make things happen inside. Both teams are in the bonus right now, so any fouls for the rest of the half, we will see some free throws. And hopefully for Coach Hawkins, his team uh, back on the right page, and they will be inbounding the ball. Drew's into Reddle right now. And Derek Drew, 6'5", Jr., passing into Mike Overdell, who brings up the ball and sets up the offense. Overdell, looking over the defense, Rick gives it over to Ricks. Ricks, now setting up the offense. Western seems to be trying to slow down this game while Eastern's trying to pick up the pace. Gary with the ball, he's got rights inside, and it's picked off by Travis Lewis. Lewis with a nice defensive play, and he gives it to Medlock, who's gonna set up the offense for Eastern Michigan. Medlock's got the corner. He's going to take it with the lefty hook. And he's got it. Nice drive and bank shot by Carlos Medlock. Big play. Meanwhile, while Eastern running back, Ricks answers immediately with a jump shot inside the three-point line. And Eastern leading at 21-15 with 8.30 to go in the first half. Medlock getting trapped. He's got to find someone. Gets it to Axon. Axon now being trapped. Back to Medlock. Medlock around half court with 20 seconds to go on the shot clock. He's got Axon in the corner. Axon from downtown. Oh, just long, but Lewis with the rebound. He goes up strong and gets nothing but the backboard and a rebound by Wrights, and Riddell will push it up for Western Michigan. Riddell's got the corner. He's got Drews. Drews fakes it from downtown. Just short. Ricks with the rebound. No good, and Travis Lewis with the rebound for Eastern Michigan. Eastern getting lucky with no second chance points right there for Western Michigan. The other team shooting particularly well. Western 25% from the floor, Eastern 35% on the floor. So kind of an offensive struggle, or is it just good defense? A little both, I think. Looks like Western's gotten some pretty good looks, but they have not been able to get anything over the rim. A lot of short shots that were short. Medlock from downtown with a hand in his face, and he's long. And Travis Lewis coming out of nowhere to get the rebound. And we've got a foul on Joe Wright. That will be his second foul as Travis Lewis went soaring over all the rebounders and came with the way. Travis Lewis having a phenomenal game. Five points, four rebounds so far. And it looks like we got a timeout now. And you're watching the ETV Game of the Week. Students broadcasting at Eastern Michigan University. Eastern leading at 21-15 with 7.26 to go. We'll be right back.
are back here from the Convocation Center. Eastern Michigan leading Western Michigan, 21 to 15. 726 goal in the first half. I'm Dave Nemec, and we've got uh, a little bit of an offensive struggle, a little bit of a nice defensive uh, game. Eastern seems to be trying to pick up the uh, pick up the tempo, while Western's trying to slow it down a little bit. Uh, guys, we marked before the game, Wrights and uh, Dobbins both not really effective so far in this game. Wrights with four points, but he just picked up his second foul. He will be on the bench, and Dobbins has not played a lot. He's got two points and three boards, but he picked up two early fouls. Meanwhile, though, the storyline for Eastern is guys like Travis Lewis and Zane Gay bringing uh, a shot of life into this team. And Travis Lewis at the free throw line, shooting up here, shooting one-on-one. -on -one. And he hits the first. Travis Lewis, a senior, also receiver on the football team. Now starting guard for the basketball team. Second of a pair. And he hits it. Travis Lewis with seven points leading all scores in the game. And Riddell, it looks like Eastern trying to set up some kind of half-court press. Western struggling to get the ball to court. Riddell finally gets over the 10-second line. Gary with the ball. Over to Riddell. Riddell signing off the offense now. Gets a pick. Back to Gary in the corner. To Frackalosi. Who kicks it to McLemore, gives it to Riddell. Riddell setting up the offense. Nothing really seeming to happen here for the Western offense. Gary takes it in. A uh, nice take and uses the kiss off the glass. Medlock bringing it up now for Eastern Michigan. Trying to set up the offense. He's got the same Gay. Gay takes it in and takes it back out. Looking for Dodd inside, the Canadian crush. He's got loss on him. Baseline. And no good. Axon keeps it alive, gets his own rebound, and puts it back in. Nice play by Jared Axon to keep that ball alive and finish it off. Eastern leading it 25-17 with 6.30 to go in the first half. Western setting up their offense again. McElmore with the ball. He kicks it to Gary. He looks inside for Lawson. Good pass. Oh, and he misses the easy bunny. Medlock comes out with the ball, and it'll be Eastern Michigan ball. Nice pass there by Gary. Lawson's got to finish that. Medlock gets the corner. Back to Zane Gay from downtown. No good, and Gary gets the rebound. Riddell pushing up the court for Western Michigan. Kicks it back to Frecolosi, who takes it in strong. And it looks like we got a foul away from the ball. Uh, number 20, Zane Gay will pick up his second foul, and there'll be some more free throws. Derek Frackelosi, the senior from Davison, Michigan, averaging three points and two rebounds a game, coming off the bench, shooting the first of a pair for Western. And off the back iron. Now checking in for Zane Gay is going to be number 21, Wendell Farrell, 6'7", junior, out of Sacramento, California. Eastern doing a great job in, on their defensive end, really shutting down the scores for Western Michigan. Seems like we got some kind of problem now, and they've solved it. Uh, mentioned before the game, Derek Drews, 10 points a game. David Cool, 13 points a game. Joe Wrights, 14 points a game. Well, we can hear Drews has nothing. Cool's got three, and Wrights has four. Frackalosi split the pair. Now 25-18, Eastern Michigan on top. Axon with the ball, setting up the offense, and he's got a pick from Wendell Farrell. Takes over to Medlock, who fakes a shot, and he's gonna try to go baseline. He's got Lewis in the corner from downtown. Give me all three of these. Travis Lewis on fire. Now 10 points for Lewis, leading all scores in the first score in double digits. Eastern Michigan with a 10-point lead. 2018 with 520 to go, and Western's offense, without its three leading scores really doing much, seems stagnant. Lawson keeps the ball alive. And Jared Axon gets rewarded for the hustle play. Diving for the loose ball and throwing it off number 21, Martel McLemore. It looks like Andre Ricks checking back into the game for McLemore. Wendell Farrell passing in the ball into Medlock, who's gonna, it's like Eastern trying to slow it down a little bit now. And apparently you just gonna wanna keep getting the ball to the hot hand. Uh, 
Chess Lewis. Well, first, we got a hand check on Ricks, and that means more free throws in the game. Eastern Michigan, Carlos Medlock will be going to the free throw, going to the charity stripe after a foul on Ricks. Now it looks like we got a couple subs for Eastern Michigan as Matthews into the game for the Canadian Crush, Kyle Dodd and Tyler Jones. Former quarterback, former, well, current receiver, former quarterback on the football team, and now current guard on the basketball team checks in. Medlock at the free throw line, shooting first of one and one. And in and out. So, and it looks like we got a loose ball fall on Wendell Farrow. Apparently so. And that means more. We'll go down the other end now and shoot free throws. I guess we got a free throw contest going on. Is Zane Gay getting ready to check back in for Eastern Michigan? And Donald Lawson. 6'9", senior, at the free throw line, shooting the first of a pair. And he's short on it again. Not a great uh, free throw display so far for Western. Only 6 of 11 from the charity stripe. Lawson on the second free throw. It's up, and it is good. It is now Eastern Michigan leading at 28-19 with five minutes to go in the first half. Half has gone by very quickly. Medlock setting up the offense now. Gets over to Tyler Jones, who's going to read over the defense. He gets a pick by Gay. Medlock with the ball now. He gets a pick from Gay. Back to Gay. Gay's going to take baseline. He's going to going up strong with it. And he gets it off the glass. Zane Gay with six big points off the bench for Eastern Michigan. Eastern with their biggest lead of the game. 11, 30-19 with 4.30 to go in the first half. David Cool back in the game. He's been, well, cool. Frackalosi off of a nice pass, and he gets the shooter's roll. And Medlock bringing the ball back up the court for Eastern. Medlock, a little, little stutter step. He's got baseline, and he's going to get another foul. He'll be shooting more free throws. And it looks like they got the foul on number one, Derek Fracolosi. And more free throws for Eastern Michigan. Carlos Medlock with four points, two rebounds, and an assist so far in the game. Trying to add to that. They're in the double bonus now, so he will be shooting two. And no good. Very uncharacteristic of Carlos Mellock, who is a very reliable free throw shooter. And it looks like Kyle Dodd back in the game for Matthews. And with a made free throw, it looks like Jared Axon will be coming in for Carlos Medlock. Carlos Medlock with the second free throw. It's up, and it is good. He's got five points, and in comes Jared Axon in for Medlock, who will take a break. Eastern Michigan leading it by 10, 31-21, with 4-11 to go in the first half. And Eastern putting a little pressure again on the ball. And though they're not, Eastern's not really trying to steal the ball or anything, they're just trying to, as you see right now, 23 seconds left in the shot clock, wasting almost 12 seconds before they really get into their offense. So good strategy by Coach Ramsey. Cool with the ball looking in for Frackalosi from the elbow. He's long. Travis Lewis leaps over everyone and gets a rebound to Axon. And Jared Axon will slow it down a little bit. So now the offense gets a pick from Gay. And they are going to call a moving pick on Zane Gay. That will be his third foul. Looks like we got a timeout. You're watching the ETV Game of the Week. Students broadcasting at Eastern Michigan University. School right now, Eastern 31, Western Michigan 21. 3.37 left in the first half. We'll be right back after a few commercial breaks. Two hundred years ago, Lewis and Clark set out to discover an all-water route to the Pacific. But what they really discovered in themselves and everyone they encountered are qualities we can still learn from today.
commemorate the Lewis and Clark Bicentennial. We invite you to walk with them at lewisandclark200.org and see what you discover, because their trail winds through us all. And we are back. A little sandstorm playing? Well, we're kind of in a sandstorm right now because there's been a defensive battle so far in the first half. Score right now, Eastern Michigan leading at 31-21 over hated rival Western Michigan, who has just not been able to get it going offensively. Three leading score are Wrights, Drews, and Cool. Well, Wrights has four, Cool has three, Drews has zero. So that's basically the storyline for this game so far. Eastern doing a great job stopping the big three for Western Michigan, and they've done a nice job offensively. Guys like Travis Lewis and Zane Gay have really stepped up and gotten some offensive spark, especially with Dobbins not really playing a lot of the first half. Well, Western Michigan now setting with the ball, setting up their offense. Red all looks for, looks like he gets it over to Cool. Cool setting up the offense, he gets a pick. From, he's from downtown, and he hits it. David Cool starting to get off, gets off the schneid a little bit with a big basket. And a quick timeout by Charles Ramsey. Not sure, sure he must have seen something they didn't like, but it is now 31-24 Eastern leading it. And overall, uh, Eastern has played very well in the first half, especially considering that Dobbins has not played more than a handful of minutes. And he's kept his fouls down because he hasn't been playing. So the second half should be, assuming that guys can kind of keep their heads on right and not get uh Stupid fouls, we should see a uh, much better uh, quality of basketball in the second half. But with 3.12 to go in the first half, it is 31-24 Eastern leading Western. Wendell Farrell will be passing the ball into Carlos Medlock. Also in the game is Matthews, uh, Axon, and Travis Lewis for Eastern Michigan. Western's got Ricks, Drews, Lawson, Riddell, and Gary. Medlock over to Farrell. Farrell takes it strong to the basket. Leans in on a jumper, and he's just short, but Matthews comes down, the big fellow with the rebound. And they are going to call a foul on Western Michigan. Looks like Gary, Shantae's Gary, the junior from Elkhart, Indiana, will pick up the foul, and that means more free throws. As James Matthews will be going to the free throw line, shooting two as they are in the double bonus. Both teams are in the double bonus right now. Matthews on his first free throw attempt. It's up and good. Nice soft, touch, nice soft touch for a big fella. And he'll shoot his second free throw. Second free throw's up and it is good. He's got four points and five rebounds off the bench. Nice contributions for Matthews for Eastern, especially with Dobbins not playing a lot. Well, Western pushing it up the court and gets into their offense quickly. Reddle slowing it up a little bit. See something he likes. Looking for Lawson's side. No, he cross court pass over to Gary, who swings it over to Riddell. Riddell's got Matthews on him. That's a matchup. Big man versus small man. Ricks with a wide open jumper, and he hits the three. And just like that, Western is cutting to the Eastern lead and is now a 33 27 ball game with 2 25 and counting in the first half. Medlock reading his offense because over Travis Lewis. He's had the hot hand so far for. Well, both teams, the only guy really with a hot hand so far. Farrell picks up his dribble, and someone's gotta come to the ball, and they finally do, Axon gets the ball. Axon setting up the offense. He's a pick from Farrell. Axon still dribbling, dribbling the ball around. Gets it to Medlock, who's got eight seconds on the shot clock. He's gonna have to make something happen. Someone's gotta get the shot off. Matthews with a fadeaway, and he fills it in, the big fella. Mr. Matthews, James Matthews. With the fadeaway shot, that's now six points for him. And Eastern up eight with less than two minutes to go in the first half. Western Michigan setting up their offense. Gary with the ball. Looking for Ricks, and oh, nice backdoor cut to Lawson with the flush, the big fella with a, with a power dunk. And minute 25 to go in the first half. Medlock bringing the ball up the court, trying to set it up, it's the Axon. Axon dribbling away, he looks like he's getting trapped. Picks up his dribble, he's gotta give it to Wendell Farrell. Farrell to Travis Lewis in the corner. This has been his spot all day so far. Lewis gets into Matthews. Matthews being very aggressive. And we're gonna have a jump ball. Very nice play there by Shantae's Gary. 
Makes it in with the big fella. Nice little size difference there. 6'2", 207 for Shantae's Gary. James Matthews clocking in at 6'8", 240. So Eastern will keep the ball, though. A minute nine to go. Drews will come out for number one, Derek Fracolosi. So Eastern trying to keep this lead and try to add to it right before halftime. Minute nine to go, and the inbounds from Medlock to Lewis. Goes back to Axon. He'll set the offense with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Axon gives it to Medlock. Medlock from downtown. Just off the back iron. Matthews keeps it alive, but he can't get in. Fracolosi keeps the rebound. Riddell pushing it up court to Gary. And looks like he's down. Not sure how bad it is. Oh, he'll be getting up. Maybe just the wind knocked out of him. Looks like a, almost a careless pass there by Riddell forcing something there. Either way, Gary must not be too hurt. He's going to the free throw line. He'll have a pair of free throws to shoot now. Gary. And the first free throw is up, and it is good. And now into the game, Kyle Dodd for number four, James Matthews, a Canadian crush back in the game with 53 and a half seconds to go in the first half. Shantae's Gary with the second free throw attempt. It's up, and it is good. And just like that, Eastern Michigan 35, Western Michigan 31. Their 11-point lead has evaporated. Eastern needing a strong showing in the half. Medlock bringing the ball, trying to stop the offense. Gives it to Lewis. Lewis looking for something. He kicks out the Farrell and back to Axon and the offense about 30 feet away from the basket trying to set up again. Axon running another play. Gets it from Coach Ramsey. Medlock with the ball. 10 seconds to go. Looks like Carlos might just want to get a pick and just go to work, fire on zone. Five. Medlock's got a lane. A little floater. And See what's going on here. And it looks like the basket counts and there was a loose ball foul on Western. So the basket will count and it looks like Wendell Farrell will be shooting free throws. I believe they got Derek Fracolosi with a loose ball foul. So the basket counts and they'll be getting free throws. So Eastern looking for a four point play from two different players in the same possession. I'm not sure I've seen that one before. All the fans uh, also seem very confused, but that's the call, and nice play by Medlock to make something happen when the shot clock was running down. Coach Ramsey milking the, the time for the referee to explain what happened on the play by talking to his players right before the half. When the Farrell with his first free throw is up, and it is off the back iron. And David Cool entering the game with 20 seconds to go. Coach Hawkins must want some instant offense, and even though Cool only has six points, he is two for two from the floor. Farrow hits a second, and Eastern's going to get a quick uh, substitute. Tyler Jones in the game, a defensive specialist for the Eagles. As Eastern leading it right now, 38-31, with 20 seconds to go in the first half. We'll probably see one more shot, maybe a half-court shot if they make one, and Eastern gets the ball back quickly. But unless a, and before the inbounds, they're gonna get Carlos Medlock with a holding on Riddell. And that will be Medlock's first foul, but that would also be two free throws for Riddell. So no time wasted and Riddell's already on the free throw line. Michael Riddell, a 6'1 junior out of Rockford, Michigan. Starting point guard for the Western Michigan Broncos, who are 7-7 overall and 1-0 in MAC play. Learns a two straight, and he hits the first. Looks like Western trying to make a sub. They're going to bring in Martel McLemore and number one, Derek Fracolosi. It's so now 38-32, Eastern leading it with another free throw coming to Riddell. 20 seconds to go in the first half. Second attempt is up, and it is good. A lot of time stoppage seems to be going on right now. For a quick first half, this, the last minute seemed to be the longest. 
Well, 20 seconds to go. Shot clock off. Medlock bringing the ball up the court. Eastern's going to hold the ball for one more shot. They will have a lead going to halftime. The question is, how big will it be? 38-33. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Medlock looking over Coach Rams to see the play. Five seconds left to go on the shot clock. Medlock with the ball. He pulls up. Off the front iron. No good. And Eastern will be still leading, though. 38-33 over their rival, Western Michigan. Uh, good overall first half for Eastern Michigan, led by Travis Lewis, who had 10 points and 6 rebounds. Not a lot of Dobbins, who was uh, in foul trouble for most of the half, but they did a nice job slowing down the likes of Cool and Drews and Wrights. And just like that, Eastern Michigan, even though they're 4-9, with a lead right now over their rivals, Western Michigan, 38-33. We'll be right back with the second half right after this. And we are back for the second half of this MAC uh, rivalry matchup between Eastern Michigan Eagles and the Western Michigan Broncos. Eastern leading at 38-33 at the start of the second half. Uh, some qu quick uh, keys from the first half. Eastern dominating the paint 18 points to six. Uh, Travis Lewis out of nowhere with 10 points and six rebounds. And uh, leading the way for Western was Andre Ricks with eight points. They went inside the rights early who gets his own rebound off the miss, goes up strong, count it, and a foul. And Western, just how they wanted to start off the game, going inside to rights early and trying to get guys in foul trouble. Couple guys we've mentioned before the game, rights and Dobbins the matchup. Well, rights played eight minutes, Dobbins played five, so hopefully those two can stay out of foul trouble so we can get a good matchup in the second uh, second half. He misses the second free throw, though. Eastern leading it 38-35. Start of the second half. About 30 seconds in. The nod with the ball going into Dobbins. He's got to be fresh for the second half. Goes with the lefty, and it's an air ball. Writes with the rebound. He gets to Cordell. Western bringing the ball up the court. Cordell setting up the offense, reading over the defense, seeing what's going on right now. He's got Gary. Gary with the top of the key. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. He gets by his guy. Back to Wrights. Wrights kicks it to Drews. Drews doesn't want to unload. Gives it back to Gary. Gary inside to Wrights. It's the matchup we talked about. Dobbins and Wrights. Wrights going right at him. And a case of the walksies. Wrights walks. That'll be another turnover for Western, and it'll be Eastern Michigan ball. Medlock now with the ball, bringing it up court. Well, under a uh, minute into the game, or into the second half, Eastern Michigan leading at 38-35. Cross court pass to Bunkley. Bunkley steps inside the three-point line, pulls up, and he fills it up. Nice jump shot by Bunkley. Eastern putting a little pressure on the ball. Cordell coming up, bringing it up. Bring over the offense, brings it over to Gary. Gary in the defense, back to Cordell. Looks like a common theme so far is trying to get inside the right to touch the ball in the last two possessions of the first uh, second half. Cool with the ball. He only played six minutes in the first half. He's now got eight points in about seven minutes. So David Cool starting to heat up a little bit and pulls it within three points. Two minutes in the second half, Eastern down three. Medlock gets around the corner, takes it in strong with the left and just a little bit short. Rebound Western and they're pushing up the court. Riddell to Cool from downtown and just off the back iron. Wrights though, chasing down the long rebound to Riddell who's gonna set up the offense. Cool got a pretty good look last time he's got the ball now and he gives it to Gary. Gary being covered by Lewis. Gary to Drews from downtown and he hits it and just like that, we have a tied game. This is not the way Eastern Michigan and Coach Charles Ramsey wanted to start the second half off as it is now tied, 40 all. Medlock setting up the offense. He gets picked from Nanad. See who's going to step up. Nanad driving to the rim. And he gets a foul well short before that jump shot went off. And it'll still remain Eastern Michigan ball. 
as Martel McLemore is checking into the game right now for Gary. The Eastern Michigan ball, 17-18 left in the first or second half. It's 40 all. And Dobbins with the ball on the inbounds. Has it deep to Medlock. Medlock setting up the offense. He has a fresh shot clock. Gives it to Bunkley. Bunkley back to Medlock. Medlock pump fakes. Gets into the lane. Kicks it to Travis Lewis. And just long. And not fighting for the rebound. But to no prevail, it will be Western Michigan ball. We're three minutes into the second half. Western Michigan has already come back and tied the game up after being down five at halftime. A little pressure by Western or from Eastern. Western gets the ball in though. Riddell bringing the ball up the court. Sign up the play. Is it to McLemore? McLemore in the triple threat being guarded by Lewis. He's all over him. Cool with the ball. Does a little hesitation to Drews from the corner for three. And he hits another one. And Charles Ramsey has seen enough. Derek Drews, who averages 10 points a game, had no points in the first half. He's already got six in the second half. And Coach Ramsey cannot be happy about that. And he is going to let his team know about it. Awful start for Eastern to start the second half. Now trailing by three, 43-40. And the offense just looks a little stagnant. Nothing really seems to be going on right now. Medlock, we've had a couple good looks, but I think they really need to establish Dobbins inside. He has not really touched the ball at all in the second half so far. So that and the matchup with Royce, maybe get him in foul trouble, take away some of the size that they have inside. And for Western, Coach Steve Hawkins has to love exactly what he's seen out of his team. A lot of uh, intensity and good ball movement and some big shots by his shooters. Uh, Eastern, hopefully for Eastern, they're not just catching fire right now and they can cool them back off. Like I said, uh, when we first got back, points in the paint at halftime, it was 18 to six Eastern. So far, Eastern seems to have gotten away from that a little bit. They need to pick it up a little bit. Uh, also in that first half, James Matthews off the bench for Eastern Michigan did a nice job and only eight minutes of play, had six points and five rebounds. And Medlock did a very nice job of running the offense uh, efficiently. And hopefully for Coach Ramsey, they'll get a lot of that in the second half, but they need to step it up big time. And it looks like Coach uh, Ramsey is done screaming at his teammates, or his uh, players. Hopefully they got a message out of it. Uh, Zane Gay is now checked in for Eastern Michigan. So you got Gay, Medlock, Lewis, Bunkley and Dobbins for Eastern. For Western, they got McLemore, Cool, Drews, Reddle, and Wright. And Gate passes in to Medlock, who will bring the ball up the court. 16-40 to go in the second half. Eastern Michigan trailing three now after leading five at halftime. Bunkley with the ball over to Gay. Gay had a nice, nice first half off the bench with six points to Medlock. Medlock thinking about three, hesitating. Takes the pick from Lewis. He's got the corner. He's going to go at it. And before the shot, they're going to call Reddell on a, looks like a little bit of a push off. So that'll be two team fouls now for Western Michigan. We saw in the first half a lot of uh, free throws since both teams were in the bonus within seven, eight minutes into the game. Well, Bunkley with the top of the key now. Looking for Medlock, he's got him. Medlock on the wing. Medlock doesn't use a pick, he goes baseline. He loses the ball, Riddell on the ground, and he's got it, Western Michigan ball. Nice hustle play there by Riddell. Kicks it to McLemore, makes the extra pass to Drews. He's been on fire so far, not this time though, and Lewis gets the rebound. And Travis Lewis wants to push it up now. And Dobbins calling for the ball, he's got rights on him. It's a matchup. It's Yep, and a walk, very obvious one by Dobbins. And another turnover for Eastern, not the start they wanted for the second half. Eastern trailing right now, 43-40 to Western Michigan, 15-44 to go in the second half. You're watching the ETV Game of the Week, student broadcasting at Eastern Michigan University. We'll be right back after this break.
are back here at the Convocation Center, and you can cut the uh, intensity with a knife here. Someone is about to get some free tuition for credits, and everyone loves that. This crowd's ready to erupt. Yeah, I guess they're not as excited as I am. Well, we're back to the ball game now. Uh, enough with the tuition. Eastern Michigan trailing at 43-40 in the second half. They've not played very well. Only two points so far. We're 15-44 to go in the second half. It is Western Michigan ball. And thanks to a lot of hot shooting from Derek Drews, the junior, who was held scoreless in the first half. Two three-pointers this half. Six points now all together. And Western has taken the lead on a currently on a 10-2 run to start the half, not what Coach Ramsey needed. And for Eastern, you got Bunkley, Gay, Dobbins, Travis Lewis, and Medlock. Ricks into rights, rights on Dobbins. Backing his way in with the lefty hook, and no good, but he gets his own rebound. And, yep, doing the old walk dance. He will, uh, that's another turnover. We've seen quite a few turnovers so far off of the travel. But as a, as a whole, the turnovers have been kept down to a little bit. 7-4 uh, Western, 5-4 Eastern. So both teams taking pretty good care of the ball. Medlock setting up the offense. Gets it over to Bunkley, who swings it to Gay, who gets it to Lewis. Lewis looking for someone, he gets it to Medlock. Medlock to Bunkley. Bunkley, 39% from downtown. He's going to take a little inside of that. He gets fouled. Basket no good, but he will be shooting free throws. And that's what Easter needs, some easy points, free throws and layups. And Jesse Bunkley will be going to the line to shoot a pair. And Bunkley getting ready to shoot the first. It's up and it is good. Nothing but nylon on that one. And it's now a two point game. And Bunkley shooting the second of a pair. Free throws up and it is good. And just like that, Eastern claws away back within one to Western Michigan. And David Cool with the ball, former Mr. Michigan, uh, Mr. Basketball in the state of Michigan. Second leading point scorer for Western. Did not play a lot in the first half due to foul trouble. Two early fouls. And Western trying to feed it into the big ball. Rights. He's got Dobbins on him though. Back more to Cool. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Cool breaking down the defense. Kisses off the glass and it is good. Nice take there by David Cool, who though in a little bit of time being played has 10 points and leads the way for Western Michigan's offense. Oh, Lewis with the ball now. Gives it to Zane Gay. Gay gives it inside of Dobbins. He's got rights on him. Dobbins goes immediately at him. Nice move, but he can't finish with the left hand. McElmore with the rebound. And Western Michigan bringing the ball up the court now. Leading at 45-42 over our beloved Eastern Michigan Eagles. Nice pass and Rice with the flush. And he is very excited about a one-handed dunk. Just like that, it's Western by five, 47-42. Bunkley with the ball, he's gonna pull it from downtown. And it's long. Fighting for the ball and Lewis comes away with it. Bunkley again. And why not? Sweet Sassy Molassi, big shot there, and it's just like that, 47-45. And it looks like Western's gonna take a timeout after that Bunkley three-pointer. Eastern uh, coming back from that dunk by Wright with a big power flush, and Eastern comes down, Bunkley misses the first three. Big rebound by Travis Lewis, that now gives him eight rebounds, too shy of a double-double already for Travis Lewis. 13.37 uh, to go in the second half, and Bunkley hits it from downtown, shooting 39% from three-point range this year, uh, averaging almost 12 points a game. And Dobbins is out, Matthews is in. So for Eastern, they got Bunkley, Lewis, Matthews, Gay, and Medlock for Western. We got Hirschberger, Cool, Lawson, uh, let's see, Derek Fracolosi, and Ricks, Andre Ricks, who was the leading scorer for Western Michigan with eight points in the first half. Cool breaks the press, because of Fracolosi, who kicks it back to Cool. Cool 
Gets loose in the air. Puts the drill down. He shoots it in and out. And a big rebound by Mr. Matthews. Playing very well off the bench for Eastern Michigan. Lewis bringing the ball off the court now. Trying to stop the offense. Cross court pass. Just out of the reach. Bunkley from downtown. In and out. The crowd was ready to erupt. Matthews with a big rebound. Misses the putback. And Cool comes away with the rebound. A little bit of the arm flailing. And he's going to get that call. And it will be Western Michigan ball. They are up right now, 47-45, with 13.07 to go in the second half. Looks like Riddell back in the game for Cool. And Jared Axon is going to see his first action of the second half coming in for Bunkley. And Tyler Jones, the defensive specialist, in for Travis Lewis, also a defensive specialist. Lewis, surprisingly, though, with 10 points, only averaging a little, uh, a little under four points a game, already has 10. None this half, but a big 10 in the first half. Eastman trying to put a little pressure on the ball. Riddell's got it, though. He's bringing it up the court. Lawson with the ball. Doesn't really know what to do with it. He gets rid of it. Ricks from downtown, and he misses it. Lawson over the back of Gay. Gay gets a piece of it. Tyler Jones comes with it, and Medlock's ready, looking to push it. Medlock with Riddell on him. He's got a pick from Matthews. He's got Matthews. Matthews, a little eight-footer. Tried to bank it, but no good. Didn't have the angle. Gay gets the rebound. He takes it to the rim and lays it in off the glass. Tied game. Eastern Michigan 47, Western Michigan 47. 12.30 to go in the second half. Riddell gives it to Fracolosi. He doesn't know what to do with it. He'll give it to Ricks. Ricks going to stop the offense now for Coach Steve Hawkins. Broncos of Western Michigan. Ricks takes it in off the glass. No good. Gay with the rebound, and he'll get it over the back on Lawson. That will be the fourth foul on Western Michigan. And Eastern coming off to a sluggish start at the start of the second half has really shown good signs of life. And Bunkley's coming back in from Medlock. Looked like Medlock uh, needed the breather, asking Coach Ramsey for a break. And now Axon will be called upon to run the offense for Eastern Michigan. They got Axon, Gay, Bunkley, Matthews, and Tyler Jones. Axon bringing it up. He's got Ricks on him. He's going to give it to Bunkley. Bunkley looking for a three. And they're going to get a foul before the nice pass by Bunkley. He had Matthews who looked like he was about to flush it home. That's now the fifth foul on Western Michigan. Two away from the bonus. 12-04 left in the second half. And Eastern Michigan passing the ball, and Bunkley gives it to Axon, who's going to stop the offense. He has a fresh shot clock right now. About 30 seconds to go on that. Western shifted off into some kind of 2-3 zone, it looks like. Tyler Jones isn't afraid, though. He takes it in, and Lawson rejects it out of bounds. It'll still remain Eastern's ball, though. And we will take a timeout right now as it is tied up. Eastern 47, Western 47. 11.52 to go in the second half. You're watching the ETV Game of the Week. Student broadcasting at Eastern Michigan University. We'll be right back. 200 years ago, Lewis and Clark set out to discover an all-water route to the Pacific. But what they really discovered in themselves and everyone they encountered are qualities we can still learn from today. the Lewis and Clark Bicentennial. We invite you to walk with them at lewisandclark200.org and see what you discover because their trail winds through us all. And we are back at the Convocation Center where we are all tied up, 47 apiece. Eastern versus Western Michigan men's basketball. 11.52 to go in the second half. Eastern Michigan on has really picked up the intensity and they have played great basketball the last few minutes after a sluggish start of the second half. Right now leading scorer for Eastern is Travis Lewis with 10 points followed by Zane Gay with 8 points. Medlock leading the way with the guards with 7 points. 
Meanwhile, Western Michigan, David Cool has really picked it up and he's got 10 points. And Drews, Derek Drews, the 6'5 junior, hit two big threes to start the second half to really give Western an uh, advantage. Eastern Michigan ball though, Axon with the ball. He's driving to the lane, a little scoop, no good. Matthews catches it, he gets it back to Axon. Axon to Matthews, Matthews inside. And he muscles it in for a pair and Eastern back on top, 49-47. And the crowd starting to get into this one. Red Elf running the offense over to McLemore. McLemore over to Hirschberger to Cool. David Cool looking for someone. Back to Red Elf. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Red Elf looking for McLemore. McLemore trying to feed it inside to Hirschberger. Hirschberger backing down Zane Gay. The lefty hook. And they're going to call Gay on the foul. I believe that is his fourth foul of the game. This is his fourth foul. And well, I believe that I thought that was on the floor. I guess it's a shooting foul. But Zinge will be coming out shortly, and Will Cooper will be seeing his first action in a second. And off the back iron for Hirschberger. Coming into the game now, Medlock in for Tyler Jones, and Will Cooper, the sophomore from Detroit, Michigan, went to Pershing, is in the game for the first time, seeing his first action. Kirschberger on the second free throw. It's up and it is good. Eastern clinging to a one point lead, 49-48. Approaching the 11 minute mark of the second half. Medlock over to Bunkley. Cooper sets a pick for Bunkley. Bunkley back to Medlock. Medlock looking inside for Matthews. He's being covered by Wrights. Swinging the ball around, Bunkley back with the ball. He's going baseline. They swing around, Axon with the three. And he hits it. Big shot by Jared Axon, and it opens up the game to a four-point game, 52-48. Jared Axon coming off the bench with a big three-pointer, and Western seeing their brief lead evaporate in front of our eyes. Wrights from the elbow. He's long. Tipped off by Hirschberger. That'll be Eastern Michigan ball. And Eastern, after that, Wrights power jam slash celebration uh, has countered very nicely with a Bunkley three and some nice uh, passing and shots. Axon hit a big three just a second ago. Medlock over to Axon. Axon waiting for the pick from Cooper. He's being trapped now. Picks up his dribble, he's gotta get rid of it. Gives it to Medlock. Medlock setting up the offense now. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Medlock over to Cooper. Cooper, yep. And he shuffled his feet before he went. That'll be a travel and a turnover for Eastern Michigan. And Derek Drew is entering the game right now for Hirschberger. Eastern leading at 52-48 with 10-16 to go in the second half. And they enter the ball to the right, so gives it immediately to Riddell. Riddell bringing the ball up the court, 30 seconds on the shot clock, setting up the play. It's over to David Cool, who's got 10 points. Riddell driving to the rim. He's got a lane, and he lays it off the glass. Nice play there by Michael Riddell, 6'1", junior. And just like that, Eastern's lead now to two, 52-50, Eastern leading it. Medlock bringing the ball up the court. Kicks it over to Bunkley. Bunkley on the wing, looking for Matthews. Bunkley crosses over Cool. Still going at him. And we're gonna have a push on Cool. That will be his third foul. And Eastern now, 16 fouls for Western, one foul away from being in the bonus at the 9.40 mark. Carlos Medlock waiting for the ball. He's now going to inbound it to Matthews. He gives it back to Medlock. Medlock setting up the offense. He's got Riddell on him. Back to Cooper. Cooper swings it over to Axon. Jared Axon looking for something. He's got a crease. He's got Medlock now. Medlock. Setting up the offense, plenty of time on the shot clock. Axon on the wing, looking for Matthews inside. He's just gonna drive it himself. Goes up with a double clutch and he hits it. Jared Axon with a big, big cut to the lane and a basket. Eastern leading at 54-50 now. Riddell setting up the offense right now. Looks for Cool, Cool's got the ball. About 25, 30 feet away from the basket. Gets it back to Riddell. 
Riddell finds Cool, who's looking for Wrights inside. Wrights has it on Matthews. And they're gonna call that a block on Matthews. I believe that was on the floor though, so no free throws. And Joe Wrights, every time he's touching the ball, he's going aggressively to the basket, which hopefully this guy can change that. Justin Dobbins coming into the game now for Matthews. It looks like Travis Lewis now back into the game for Jesse Bunkley. So Gary back out of the game now. Wasn't in for much long. And into the game is Derek Fracolosi. So right, Fracolosi, Drews, Cool, and Riddell in the game for Western. Drews from downtown and is blocked by Will Cooper. A very nice defensive play by Will Cooper, the sophomore out of Detroit. 8.48 to go in the game. Eastern Michigan leading it by four, 54-50. Cool with the ball, trying to find rights inside. He's just gonna pull it with it from downtown and it's off the end of the basket and into the hands of Travis Lewis who gives it to Medlock who will push it up the court now. Carlos Medlock running the offense. Gets over to Axon. Drew to Axon, Rainway has got. Picks up a pick from Cooper. Cooper wide open. He's going to take it to the rim. Back to Dobbins. And Dobbins can't hold on to that pass. And Western Michigan will take the ball. Riddell trying to push to make something happen. Cool with a nice spin move. And nope. Two step shuffle right there for David Cool. And it will be another Western Michigan turnover on a travel. Eastern Michigan ball with 8.14 to go. Up four, 54-50. And the Eagles have done a nice job taking the big punch from Western and responding with a punch of their own. Medlock running the offense now. He's got Riddell all over him. Trying to look for Dobbins inside. And they're going to call a foul. Looked like Riddell was trying to wear his jersey on that one. And it looks like we're going to take a commercial break at 7.59 to go in the game. Eastern Michigan leading at 54-50 over Western Michigan. This is your watching the ETV Game of the Week. Students broadcasting at Eastern Michigan University. We'll be right back. back here at the Convocation Center and I'll tell you what fans, there's nothing like a free t-shirt that gets college kids going crazy. And that, in this order, free shirts, free pizza, and that's about it. I mean, I only go to college strictly for the free shirts and the pizza. But enough about me, we've got a ball game going on here. Eastern Michigan leading at 54-50 with 7.59 to go in the second half. Eastern Michigan Watch Western go on a 10-2 run to start the second half and see their five-point lead evaporate immediately. But they have clawed their way back into it and they have a lead and it looks like Carlos Medlock will be shooting a pair now that Western Michigan is in the uh, bonus with seven fouls. And the game for Eastern Michigan right now is Dobbins, Axon, Medlock, looks like Travis Lewis, and Will Cooper who just made a nice uh, defensive play blocking a three-pointer. Medlock first free throws up and it is good. He'll get another one. Meanwhile for Western, they got Frank, uh, let's see. We got Frackalosi, uh, Drews, Wrights, Cool, and Ricks. Andre Ricks had eight first half points. They've done a nice job stopping him. And Medlock, shooter's touch, gets the roll, and Eastern Michigan sends their lead to six. 
56-50 right now. Eastern leading it. Under eight minutes to go, and David Cool bringing the ball up the court. Medlock's all over him. Cool to Ricks. Ricks seeing what's going on right now. He works inside to Wrights. Wrights goes right at Dobbins. Count that, and a foul. Nice play there by Wrights. Big Joe Wright, 6'7", 256 senior, has been trying to bang inside all day, and he gets another basket. He is now 10 points and six rebounds, and he's going for a free throw to cut this to a one possession game. And Dobbins now has his third foul. He has not been a factor in this game. Wright misses the free throw, though, and it remains a four point game, 56-52, Eastern Michigan leading it. Medlock getting trapped. He gets rid of it immediately to Will Cooper, who swings it to Lewis. To Axon from downtown. Well off the mark. Frank Olosi with the break. He pushes it. Counted in a foul. Frank Olosi with a layup, and he gets fouled on the breakaway. And just like that, a nice uh, potentially six point swing there. Axon with an open look, misses it poorly. And then the on the other end, the fast break and one layup. So Axon is out and Jesse Bunkley back into the game. And Derek Francolosi shooting one free throw after he made the layup. And he's off the back iron. Ball's tipped by Drew as it'll be Eastern Michigan. Ball up two with 7.28 to go. 56-54. Eastern with Cooper, Medlock, Lewis, Bunkley, and Dobbins. Medlock walking the ball up the court. Gets it over to Lewis. It's like Western trying to put some kind of a trap defense in there. Bunkley gets the ball. And it looks like Dobbins was getting a little too aggressive inside with Wrights. That will be his fourth foul. Fourth foul on Justin Dobbins, who has not had a good game so far, mainly because he's been in foul trouble. But Wrights gets the better of him on that one again, and in comes Matthews as Dobbins has to sit with his fourth foul. However, it was offensive fouls, so even though Eastern now uh, in the bonus, there won't be free throws. There are seven fouls apiece, so both teams from now on will be shooting free throws. And Western inbounds the ball, down two, 56-54, with seven minutes and counting left in the game. David Cool over on the wing, right setting a pick. Cool with the ball, gets inside the right. He was asking for it, he's got Matthews on him. Couple big boys there, and Will Cooper with the steal. Two on one breakaway, gives it to Medlock. Medlock up to Cooper, and the alley-oop a little too high for Cooper to handle, and Western gets the ball back as Wrights picks it up. Meanwhile, Western now pushing it up. Cool's got a breakaway. He's gonna pull up from 17. He misses it. Rebound, Jesse Bunkley. And now the action, nope, Coach Ramsey telling his players to calm down and slow it up a little bit as Medlock reading the play from his coach. Charles Ramsey in his third year here at Eastern Michigan. Eagles trying to snap a five-game losing streak. Medlock from downtown. Sweet sassy Molassi, he's got it. Big shot by Medlock, sending the lead to five, 59-54. That puts Medlock at 12 points on the game. Leading score for both teams. And Steve Hawkins has seen enough of that. Well, big shot there by Medlock, really uh, one of the leaders on this team leads the team with 12 and a half points a game, and he is showing it right now. He's at his average at 12. Uh, also for Eastern, Jared Axon with 10 points and Lewis with 10 points. Two guys you expect to get some points out of them, but maybe not that many. They've stepped it up, especially with Dobbins being in foul trouble for the majority of this game. Bunkley with seven, Zan Gay with eight. Western, though, being led, led by Wrights and Cool, both with 10. Uh, and Ricks who had a hot first half with eight, mainly because he had a play for most of it because Cool was in foul trouble, has not scored this half, but he still has eight points in the third leading score for Western Michigan. Also just realized Travis Lewis with a double-double, 10 points, 10 rebounds for the former receiver, current guard on the basketball team. Western Michigan will inbound it, 6-10 to go in the game. Down five to Eastern Michigan. Eastern coming out with Lewis, Medlock, Cooper, Matthews, and Bunkley. Drews looking for Lawson inside. Lawson a little fade away. Ball slows in. The Fracolosa with the rebound. And he kicks out to Ricks. Realizing that there's only five seconds left on the shot clock. Ricks taking to the rim. A little floater. Short. And he gets his own rebound though. 
And he's going to take up strong, and he is going to get the foul call, and that will be some free throws for Western Michigan. Foul on number 15, Will Cooper. Andre Ricks standing 5'9", 160, going um, among the trees and getting the rebound. Coach Ramsey looking like he's ready to bring in Jared Axon, though. And the first free throw for Ricks is up, and it is good. Western Michigan now 13 of 22 from the charity stripe. Eastern 15 of 19. Western Michigan has out there uh, Ricks, Wright, uh, McLemore, Riddell, and Fracalosi. Matthews with the rebound, and he gives it to Medlock. Eastern with Medlock, Axon, Matthews. Uh, looks like Bunkley and Travis Lewis now with the ball. Lewis looking for Matthews inside. He kicks cross pass to Bunkley, who gives it to Medlock, who looks immediately to Matthews. Matthews, nice move in the post. Reverse layup and in. Eastern Michigan now up 61-55, approaching the five-minute mark of the second half. Eastern Michigan trying to snap a two-game winning streak for Western and a five-game losing, losing game for themselves. Medlock guarding Riddell. He's got the ball. Five minutes to go. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Andre Ricks with the ball. He gets a pick. And he's got Travis Lewis on him now. Defensive specialist for Eastern. Riddell with the ball. He's got Frackalosi in the post. He's got Medlock, a mismatch. Doesn't go out there. He kicks out to Ricks, who misses the three. And Western chases down the rebound, though. Looks like Macklemore with the rebound. And he gets inside the rights immediately. At Ooh, and they are gonna call, they are gonna call Matthews on the foul. From this angle, it looked like Reitz might have hooked him a little bit, but but Matthews kind of agreed with the call, so he must have got him first before the hook. Reitz doing a nice job getting the line. This will be his ninth and tenth attempt from the free throw line, though he's only four for eight from the line. Zane Gay checking in for Eastern Michigan for Jared Axon. And Joe Wright, 6'7", senior, 256 out of Fishers, Indiana, leading score for Western. Has the ball stuck on the rim, which will be a jump ball. That will be Eastern Michigan ball as he misses the free throw. And Axon immediately back end for Travis Lewis. So a little chess match between the two coaches, Hawkins and Ramsey. Axon just checked out. He just checked right back in. We got Gay, Medlock, Axon, Matthews, and Bunkley in for Eastern. For Western, Riddell, Recolosi, uh, Wrights, Cool, and McLemore. I think the referees are trying to see what the referees are having a problem. I believe, believe Jared Axon could not check back into the game, seeing as he literally checked out before the free throw. So you can't do that quick of a sub. So he has to stop for at least one possession. Travis Lewis back into the game. Eastern Michigan leading it 61 55 with 4.41 to go in the game. And this is where guys like Carlos Medlock really shine. They want the ball in their hands. Medlock to Gay. Gay with the dribble, gives it to Bunkley. Bunkley loses the handle, but he's got it. Coach Ramsey wants him to slow it down a little bit. Bunkley dribbling around, looking for Matthews. A little touch pass. Matthews inside with the left hand. Counter and a foul. Big basket by number four, James Matthews, followed by Wrights. And it's now with 4.19 to go, 63-55 with a free throw coming for Matthews, who off the bench now has 12 points and nine rebounds. Dobbins goes down and someone steps right in for a great game so far. And Will Cooper back in the game now for Zane Gay. So James Matthews at the line for one. Trying to extend this to a nine point game. Free throws up and it is good. Big fella's got some nice touch on the shot and now he's got 13 points. And he comes off and Mr. Dobbins, Justin Dobbins back in the game for James Matthews. And Ruddo bringing the ball up the court, approaching the four minute mark. Western down nine. Here in the convocation center, the crowd's getting loud. Ruddle gets by everyone. Takes it in, 
And they're gonna call an offensive foul. Travis Lewis comes over and takes the charge. That'll be Eastern Michigan ball. And Zane Gay back in for Will Cooper and Jared Axon for Travis Lewis. A little offensive for defense switch. Coach Ramsey has to like the intensity and the, the overall play that his team has shown in the second half. A lot of heart. Looks like Western's gonna try to put a little pressure now on the ball. Western with Ricks, Drews, Wrights, McLemore, and Cool. Carlos Medlock bringing the ball up the court. Clock is Eastern's friend. Still need to get good looks though. Axon with the ball. Outside of the three-point line, looking for something to happen. Gives it to Medlock. Medlock, seeing what's going on right now. He's got Ricks all over him. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Carlos Medlock, a junior. Zane Gay kicks it to Axon for three. Just short. And Bunkley. Jesse Bunkley apparently using one of the Western Michigan Broncos shoulders uh, as a as a little bit of a boost, and it will be a foul on Bunkley, meaning free throws for Western Michigan. Well, right now, Eastern Michigan leading at 64-55 with 3.36 to go in the game. You're watching the ETV Game of the Week, students broadcasting at Eastern Michigan University. We'll be right back after this break. 200 years ago, Lewis and Clark set out to discover an all-water route to the Pacific. But what they really discovered in themselves and everyone they encountered are qualities we can still learn from today. the Lewis and Clark Bicentennial. We invite you to walk with them at lewisandclark200.org and see what you discover because their trail winds through us all. And we are back here at the Convocation Center at Eastern Michigan leading Western Michigan 66 or 64-55 up nine with 3.36 to go in the second half. Coach Ramsey's team Leading at halftime, 38-33. Watch that lead go away immediately the start of the second half as Western came out on a 10-2 run. But a couple of big threes by Axon and uh, Bunkley really opened it up. E Eastern took the lead, and they've been holding on to it for a while now. But it looks like David Cool will be shooting. Uh, not quite in the double bonus yet. Oh, I believe you are in the double bonus. So David Cool will have two free throw attempts coming up as Western trails it by nine. In the game for Eastern, Justin Dobbins, Bunkley, Carlos Medlock, Zane Gay, and Jared Axon for Western. It's Wrights, Drews, Cool, McLemore, and Ricks. And David Cool, who has 10 points for Western Michigan. This is, or makes the first free throw. So one free throw is in. Second attempt for Cool is up, and it is good. And Western Michigan now trailing by seven. 3.30 to go in the game. Eastern Michigan bringing the ball to court. Medlock looks for Gay. Gay's got Bunkley wide open. Bunkley gonna use time as his friend. Western using a trap defense. Gay's got the ball, gives it to Medlock. Medlock driving in from downtown. Just short, but he gets his own rebound. Nice job by Carlos Medlock. And a fresh shot clock for Eastern Michigan. Medlock not going to use any of it though. He's just going to go in there and score immediately with the left hand. Carlos Medlock now with 14 points to lead all scores in the game. And Eastern Michigan on defense. Cool driving to the lane. He goes up strong. And they're going to call a block on. Looks like on number 23, Jesse Bunkley will pick up the foul. And Cool will go back to the free throw line as Western trails by nine, 57-66. A little under three minutes to go. And so we got some kind of problem going on right now. 
Uh, not really sure what's going on right now. Travis Lewis, though, is checking in for the game at Paris. Oh, Jesse Bunkley has just fouled out of the game. Did not even see that. Just picked up his fifth foul. He ended the game with seven points and two rebounds. No uh, shot bigger than that three-pointer after he missed his own. They got the rebound, kicked it to him, and he really opened up the game with that. And Cool makes the first of a pair. So in the game now for Western, it's Hirschberger, right? Cool, McLemore, and see the referees in the way. Looks like Andre Ricks. Cool makes the second free throw, cutting it to a seven-point game. Eastern with Zane Gay, Jared Axe, and Medlock. Lewis and Dobbins. Lewis to Medlock. Medlock, smart play, holding the ball, trying to use some clock here. Axon getting trapped. Axon splits the double team and gets fouled. Looks like David Cool on the foul. And Jared Axon to the free throw line, shooting a pair as Eastern and Western both in double bonus now. Pick those up and it is just short off the front end of the uh, of the rim. Eastern Michigan leading it by seven points with 2.46 to go. Riddell coming back into the game for McLemore. So you got Riddell, Ricks, Cool, Wrights and Hirschberger in for Western Michigan. And Jared Axon with a big free throw. He missed the first. Second free throw is up and it is good. In and out. That should count as a half point or something, but it doesn't. Riddell gets the rebound, and they're going to push up the court. Down seven points with 2.30 to go in the game. Riddell gets it by his guy. Ricks fakes a shot. Passes up on the open look. Still driving. Fadeaway jump shot off the back end of the iron. And a foul on Western Michigan. Looks like they got rights for it. That will be his fourth foul. And Eastern shooting two more free throws. And it's going to be free throws that win this game for Eastern now. They have shot 16 of 22 from the free throw line, 72%. Western on the other end, 17 of 28 for 60% from the charity stripe. And Justin Dobbins with a very quiet game going to the free throw line to try to extend this Eastern Michigan lead. First free throw is up, and it is... Shooter's touch is good. Extending the lead to eight. I think I should drop my pen now and see if you can hear it. It's very quiet here in the convection center. Justin Dobbins on the 18th green and in the Masters is up. It is good. Give him the green jacket. Dobbins hits a pair and they're down. Or Eastern now up nine. Approaching the two minute mark. Western Michigan running out of time. And they got Carlos Medlock with a block. No one agreeing with that here in the convocation center. Very shocking that the home team crowd not excited about that call. And that means clock stop, and that will mean free throws for Western Michigan. Michael Riddell going to the free throw line. Double bonus, so he'll be shooting two. Mike Riddell on his first free throw attempt. Short. And Michael Riddell now with four points and three assists. Hirschberger and McLemore back in the game. It's looking like for defense and fouling purposes. Riddell missed the first, up for the second one, and it's up, and it is no good. Hirschberger keeps it alive, but Travis Lewis comes down with it. His 11th rebound of the game, and he was fouled immediately by McLemore. Or correction on that, uh, Hirschberger got him on the foul. So with 2.17 to go, we are going to see some more free throws here. 2.17 to go in the game. Eastern Michigan, 68. Western Michigan, 59. And Travis Lewis has not scored this half, but had 10 very big points in the first half to give Eastern a halftime lead. And Western's going to take a timeout and talk about it. Steve Hawkins wants to figure out kind of a game plan for this, uh, the last 2.17 to go. Don't necessarily need to start shooting threes now, but... 
Uh, if you're going to be trading free throws for layups, you got to hope Eastern misses the free throws. And so far, they have not missed the free throws. 18 of 24, 75% from the crowd. And you see the crowd right there getting down with their bad selves just a little bit. Great, uh, great crowd here for the big rivalry matchup between Eastern Michigan and Western Michigan. Hopefully, if you're watching this back in the dorms, you will see the fun time. Free t-shirt and free pizza, as I mentioned before, and free entry to get in the game, and you'll come down here to our next contest. Eastern Michigan, next two games will go to Northern Illinois and Ball State before being back here January 22nd in Toledo. And Lewis makes the first free throw. As I was saying, Eastern's next home game, January, 20, January 22nd, Toledo, 7 p.m. game. Lewis picks in this to an 11 point game. And he hits it, Travis Lewis now with 12 points. And Eastern ties, tied with their biggest lead of the day, 11 points. And as fast as I could say that, Western comes right back down and scores and makes it a nine point game. So with two minutes exactly to go in the game, Eastern Michigan leading it by nine, 70 to 61. And we got a foul on David Cool. That'll be his fourth foul. He's got 14 points leading Western Michigan and tied with Carlos Mellock for the most points for either side. So a minute 57 to go, Eastern up nine. And Travis Lewis at the free throw line. He is a perfect six of six on the day. Free throws up and it is no good. I jinxed him. I, uh, I take full blame for that, guys. I mean, he won't miss two in a row, though. That's okay. I can't jinx him for two. What'd I tell you? Lewis splits a pair. Eastern up 10. Minute 55 to go. And Western Michigan running out of time. They're going to have to get some kind of miracle here. Start catching fire from downtown. Cool takes it inside and makes a nice acrobatic layup. And Eastern struggling to get the ball. And Axon trapped in the corner. And he will call a timeout. Smart heads up play there by Jared Axon. Eastern up eight points, 71 63. Minute 39 to go in the game. So now it's just up the free throws for Eastern. 21 to 28 now from the line, 75% still. See some of the crowd there enjoying themselves at the game. Overall, a pretty fairly big turnout for the Eagles today. Uh, up eight points to go in the second half, minute 39 to go. And I'm not sure there's a lot of people in this building that would have thought that was possible if I told you right now Justin Dobbins has four points and four rebounds. Uh, but guys like Travis Lewis, 13 points, 11 rebounds. Guys like uh, James Matthews, 13 points, nine rebounds. Ak, Jared Axe, and 10 points off the bench. Zane Gay, eight points. So guys have come and stepped up with one of their top players, Dobbins, not playing very well, being in foul trouble. And you see Western trying to force Medlock into a trap, and they do. And it looks like Andre Ricks was out of bounds before he got that ball. It will remain Eastern Michigan ball. And the game for Eastern, Lewis, Dobbins, Medlock, Gay, and Axon. Pass almost stolen. Medlock with the ball, and he forces the ball away. Cool, looks up the court to Wrights. Who takes one step and misses the layup. And into the hands of Zane Gay. And he misses the bunny and the crowd's going to let him hear about it. Axon pushing the ball up. Eastern is trying to run this clock out. And Andre Ricks picks up the foul as he fouls Zane Gay. And with a minute 14 to go, Eastern Michigan 71, Western Michigan 63. A big miss layup there by Wrights. And Coach Ramsey. I see two, wait, make that three veins coming out of the neck. Zane gave first attempt, and it's up and it's good. Gives him nine points on the day off the bench, nine points, three rebounds. Zane Gay hits a, hits a pair, and just like that, Easter Mission up 10 with a minute 14 to go. Gay steals the ball, misses the bunny, gets it back, and this time he's gonna be Dribbling, the, trying to get some clock out. He misses the bunny. 
gets his own rebound, dribbles it out, and I couldn't even tell if Coach uh, Ramsey was mad at him or not, but he got the slap on the uh, behind, so I'll take that as a positive thing. Zane Gay stepping to the line. He has 10 points. Trying to add to that. And off the back iron. Minute eight to go. Eastern Michigan up 10. As Frank Alosi comes back in for Drews. We had a very quiet game. Looks like about six points. Gay on a second attempt. Misses it. And he gets his own rebound. And misses another layup. You gotta, you gotta like the effort to get his own rebound like that over four. I mean, no one in the paint for Eastern except for Zingay, and he's the one that comes down with the rebound, but those are the easy bunnies. You gotta finish those. But Eastern's still up 10, and he did foul too, so the clock has stopped. Eastern up 10, right shooting free throws, but no matter with the uh, missed layups, Gay, 10 points, five rebounds. Not a bad day for, uh, for one of your uh, forwards off the bench. Wright's on the free throw attempt. The first one is up and it is good. And the student section letting him know how they feel about him. And uh, I don't think it's good. Wright's on the second free throw attempt. It is up and it is good. And it is an eight point game. And I believe Zane Gay is bleeding right now, so they had to get him out of the game, get him taped up a little bit. You see Zane Gay getting, uh, getting the blood taken care of. We have a minute five. This seems like the longest two minutes of my life, but that's what happens when they foul a lot. Eastern Michigan leading at 73, 65. Minute five to go. And they're just going to take Gay out and bring in number zero, Nanad Benyanin. One of the few seniors on the team. And he inbounds it to Lewis, who is fouled after a second running off the clock. And with a minute four, we will be seeing some more free throws. Eastern now, 23 of 32 from the charity stripe after a pair of misses from Zane Gay. Overall, though, both teams shot fairly similar. Eastern shooting 38% from the floor, Western 39, three-pointers 30 and 33, respectively. Lewis hits the first. Uh, free throws, big difference east, but that's with the following. Eastern 23 of 32, uh, Western only 19 of 32. So, and Lewis splits a pair, giving the Eastern a nine-point lead. David Cool bring the ball up, and one minute left in the game. Cool takes it inside, and they're going to call a block on Nanad Binyanin. And Coach Ramsey disagrees with that one. And we got some discussion now with the rest. Maybe he's got a good point there. See if this confusion uh, gets solved. These referees may be trying to make this the longest game in the history of college athletics. And I think the students want Eastern to have the ball. I'm not quite sure, though. We'll have to find out. And they want to talk to both coaches, Steve Hawkins and Charles Ramsey, both meeting at half court to discuss this. Not sure what all the confusion is about. It either was a block or it was a charge. Personally, it looked like Nanad had, uh, was planted like a tree there, but rough called block anyway, so. They could, uh, not sure what the, uh, doesn't look like it's going towards Eastern, seeing as Coach Ramsey keeps trying to turn away. Coach Ramsey still very heated about this. Coach, coach, he wants his players to play for 40 minutes. He's going to coach for 40 minutes, even with a nine-point lead and a minute to go. But I've seen crazier things, so this game is not quite over yet. Yeah. 
So apparently we have a double foul. Um, I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. We've got, unless some, there was some extra activity after the play, I'm not sure if they're calling this a block and a charge. I'm at I mean, the double foul. Uh, that will be David Cool's fifth foul too. So the leading scorer for Western Michigan, David Cool, with 16 points today, has just fouled out. And and uh, these referees are hearing it. Western Michigan ball somehow. Andre Ricks from downtown and in and out. Rice gets the rebound. Gives it to Riddell from downtown. In and out. Rice with another rebound. He goes up and he is fouled. And this game is starting to get a little bit chippy out there. Uh, I'd say let the kids play. Why not? When in Rome, I guess. Or Ipsy, because that's where we are. Uh, just a reminder, you are watching the ETV Game of the Week. Uh, student broadcasting at Eastern Michigan University. Still trying to figure out what's going on in this game. There is 47 seconds to go in the game. It is 74-65. Still really not sure what happened on that double foul call. Both coaches seem to be pretty upset, as are the fans. Royce at the free throw line shooting up here. Trying to cut it to a seven point game. Still a lot of confusion here. And I guess we're gonna bring uh, bring James Matthews back into the game. Oh, Justin Dobbins, the, the latest victim of the fouling out bug. Dobbins, Bunkley both fouled out. Zane Gage got four. Uh, cool for Western fouls out. Right, that's the first. Uh, as I was saying, Cool fouled out for Western, and they have several people. Ricks, Rodell, or Riddell, and Wrights all with four fouls. Right, second free throw attempt is up, and it is good. And we're gonna get a quick substitution for Wright so that he doesn't pick up his fifth. Looks like the one they call Hirschberger into the game. And Eastern leading it with 47 seconds to go, 74-67. The nod gets it into Travis Lewis, who is fouled immediately, wasting about a second on the clock. So, 46 and a half seconds to go now. Travis Lewis on the game, 14 points, 8 of 10 from the charity stripe, 11 rebounds for the senior. And he hits the first. And he misses the second one. Looking at it right now, looks like his career high is today. Ooh. McLemore trying to send the dunk home and Matthews gets a piece of him. So a 75, oh, offensive foul. 75, 67, Eastern leading it with 39.9 seconds. I'm looking up right now and Travis Lewis's previous career high was 11 against Western Michigan almost, uh, almost a year ago. So 15 points, the new high. Charles Lewis loves playing Western Michigan. And another foul on McLemore. First the offensive foul, now holding me for the inbounds. No clock will be wasted. 39.8 to go in the game, and Eastern is up eight. And back into the game will be James Matthews. Jared Axon at the free throw line. First one's up and it is good. That gives Jared Axon now 11 points off your bench. Jared Axon with the second free throw attempt to extend it to a 10 point game is up and it is good. 77-67, 39.8 seconds to go. Western trailing here at the Convocation Center, Convocation Center against Eastern. McLemore from downtown. He misses and Matthews with the rebound. And another foul. 
I believe this one's on right, and I believe that will be his fifth. Another victim of the fallout bug. And in the game is Lawson. 32.8 seconds to go in the game. Eastern Michigan leading by 10 points. Wrights leaves the game 14 points, 12 rebounds. As good as advertised. Matthews up. And the big fellow with a soft touch. That'll give him 14 points on the game. The perfect 4-4 from the charity stripe. Matthews' second attempt is up, and it is good. He's got 15 points. And with 30 seconds to go, Eastern's up 12. McLemore with the ball. He misses a jump shot. And Lawson puts in the garbage. And another foul now. We'll shoot some more free throws, fans. 79-69, Eastern leading. Western Michigan with 22 seconds to go. Just looked into this as well. A bunch of careers today. James Matthews, senior out of Detroit. Career high previously was 12 points. It is now 15 points for James Matthews. So Matthews and Lewis having career days in the point, point uh, total. And now Silver LeCou, why not, just came into the game for Western Michigan. And Medlock hits the first of a pair. He's now got 15. Second is up, and it is good. Medlock hits a pair. It is now a 12-point game once again, 81-69. Western Michigan, no quit in this team, though. Ricks pushes up, and he makes another shot. 15 seconds to go in the game, and they're not quitting. Axon's got the ball. No one's on him. And good night, Doctor. That feels good. Eastern Michigan is going to pull off the victory, ending a five-game skid. First win in MAC play to 1-1 one one on the MAC. 5-10 and ten over on the season, dropping Western a game below 500, 7 and 8 on the season, also 1-1 one and one on the MAC. Big games by Medlock, 16 points. Matthews had a career game, 15 and 10. Lewis had a career game, 15 and 11. Zane Gay had 10 off the bench. For Western, led by Wrights with 14 and Cool with 16 in the losing effort. It was a good one here, and Eastern Michigan pulls off the victory. And this was uh, ETV Game of the Week. You're watching student broadcasting at Eastern Michigan University. I'm Dave Nemec, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.